This video will walk you through what to expect in both the meetings you host and the ones you attend. Let's hop into a meeting. We'll start at the top. On the left side, you'll find your meeting information. On the right side, there's the layout button. Use this to customize your view and focus on what and who is most important to you during the meeting. Now let's explore controls. Let's start with muting and unmuting. To control when others can hear you, just click the microphone icon, press it again to mute. Click the arrow next to the mic to choose your speaker or microphone. You can turn on noise removal to block background sounds, use voice optimization for clearer speech, or switch to music mode if you're sharing music. Ready to be on camera? Click Start Video to turn your camera on. Press it again to stop your video if needed. Click the arrow next to the video icon. Here you can choose which camera to use, change your virtual background, and preview your video in self-view, just to make sure you're looking your best. Sharing content. To do this, click the Share Content button. If you haven't used this feature before, it's a great way to show your WebEx meeting attendees exactly what you're doing in real time, whether in the meeting itself or within the app. Maybe you want to show your attendees how to launch a Slido poll or create breakout sessions. Sharing your screen makes it easy to walk them through the process. Let's talk about sharing files without sharing your entire screen or an application. If you're presenting a PowerPoint, for example, simply use Upload and open a file. Choose your file and manage it directly within the meeting content window. You can even switch between multiple files seamlessly. And no matter how your attendees join, whether on a computer, mobile device, or video conferencing system, they'll all see the files you share in real time. The last enhancement in sharing is found under Advanced, the ability to share just a portion of your screen. For example, if I want to share my PowerPoint application, but not go into slideshow mode, I can crop out unnecessary parts of my screen, keeping the focus exactly where I want it. AI Assistant can help you stay on top of things during a meeting. If you miss part of the conversation, just use Catch Me Up to get a quick summary of the last 15 minutes. Need a broader recap? Summarize More lets you choose between the last 15 minutes or a summary of the meeting from the very beginning. Curious if someone mentioned you? Use Was My Name mentioned to find out when and where your name came up with a bit of context. To keep track of tasks, what are the action items? Gives you a quick list of anything that needs follow-up. And finally, if you have a specific question, you can use Ask Me Anything About This Meeting to get a private, instant answer from the AI assistant. Please note this has to be approved by your company's administrator for WebEx, and once approved it can be enabled during a meeting by the host. Record allows you to capture the session so you can revisit it anytime. Use the Raise Hand feature to get the host's attention. You can also select a reaction to express how you feel, visible to all participants. More options. Move meeting to a video device. Transfer your meeting to a video conferencing device without disconnecting from the meeting. Switch audio. Switching audio in a WebEx meeting allows you to change your audio connection during a meeting. You can switch to call your mobile phone or use your computer for audio. Lock meeting. When a meeting is locked as the host, you can choose to let individuals in from the lobby or allow everyone at once. Use Invite and Remind to send an invitation or a quick reminder to participants. Copy Meeting Links allows you to send out a link to anyone who needs to join. Whiteboarding. This feature gives you quick access to previous whiteboards, so you can easily continue where you left off. And speaking of whiteboarding, you can now use this feature within a breakout session. Just go to More Options during the breakout and select Share Whiteboard to start collaborating in real time. Enable breakout sessions. Breakout sessions allow participants to collaborate in separate spaces, perfect for workshops, classrooms, or focus discussions outside the main meeting. Enable sign language interpretation. Ensure accessibility for all attendees by enabling sign language interpretation. This feature lets participants view the presentation with their preferred sign language and interpreter. Stepping away from the meeting. Select Step Away and your status will update to let others know. Your microphone will mute, and your video will turn off automatically. Meeting Options Under the General tab, 
you'll find controls to enable or disable meeting features either for everyone or just for attendees. AI Assistant tab allows you to set who starts and stops the summary. And if you would like the summary or transcript saved after the meeting, report an issue. If something isn't working as expected, use the report an issue feature to send feedback directly to WebEx support. The statistics option provides insights on computer performance, memory usage, and energy consumption. Lastly, for controls, end meeting. When it's time to wrap up, click the red X to leave or end the meeting. Make sure to confirm before exiting. Next, let's look at the floating icon tray. You'll see this at the top center of your screen when sharing an application or your screen. Here you have options to stop or pause sharing. For additional controls, click more sharing options. This gives you quick access to share computer audio, use annotation tools, manage annotation privileges, and even pass remote control. You can also move the floating icon tray anywhere you'd like. Keep it at the top. Move it to the bottom or dock it to the left or right for convenience. Next, let's talk about panels. There's the embedded apps panel and the participant panel, but one of the coolest is the chat panel. Chat in WebEx meetings now brings everything you love about WebEx messaging. Format your text. Make it bold. Make it bigger. Use reactions such as laugh, smile, or celebrate. Plus, you can send GIFs and use mentions to start a direct chat or link a space. After the meeting, you can find the chat content and meeting recap right in the WebEx app. For Q&A and polling, you will use Slido. All attendees can create polls, but only hosts and co-hosts can activate them. To ensure only hosts and co-hosts can launch Slido content, go to More Options, select Meeting Options, and uncheck Start Slido. This way, attendees can participate but won't start their own polls. The last panel we'll cover is Content. Click Content, then start adding your files. Your meeting attendees can download them directly from the Content panel while the meeting is in progress. Keep in mind these files won't be available after the meeting ends, so be sure to let attendees know to download them beforehand. We've covered a lot today, and there's always more to come. To stay up to date on the latest features and enhancements, be sure to subscribe to this article.